Check out that. Anything Pokemon. What's up, guys? This is Kaylin from Deck Out Dad, and today we're going to work on building a spreadsheet for our Pokemon cards to see exactly what our profit is, uh, how much we're selling, how how far along we're going, and how much we have spent. Um, we're gonna kind of do like a step by step tutorial, so I'll be giving you guys like a some time in between each step where you can kind of pause the video and uh, do this along with me. And this is going to be our end product right here. All right, so first off, you're going to open up your Google Sheets, and you're going to make this up here at the top with a column for your name, the or for the Pokemon card name, the number, its rarity, if it's been sold or not, an eBay link. You can also do like a Amazon link or a TCG player link so that you can keep up on prices as as the time goes on. And you can change them accordingly. Alright, I went on ahead and put the number and the rarity on there too. So if you guys want to go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, next we're going to Highlight this sold column. We're going to right click on it and go down to data validation. And we want to change that from list from a range to checkbox and save. All right, and if you guys haven't done it yet, you can click on A and drag all the way over. To J and click on borders and click on all borders to kind of clean that up, make it look better. All right, now once you've done all that, you can start researching your prices for these cards. Once you've gone through and you've researched everything, you put your links over here. I only did one. And uh, I went on ahead and changed uh, the link name, which the way to do that is you just hover over that, come down here, click edit link, and you change the text to whatever you want and hit apply. All right, so for the Eternatus V, I listed mine for $45. And since it's over $20, I ship it for three dollars so um actually on ebay it's going to automatically set that at like three dollars and eighty cents to like four dollars and twenty cents or something like that so i always just put three dollars here because uh that's just a nice round number and then you can find your ebay fee and your paypal fee by going to ebayfeescalculator.com uh, This is a really, really cool tool. I suggest you guys go and check it out while you're doing all this stuff um, so you can find exactly how much you're, you are uh, profiting. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the $45 in as your sold price, $3, or if you want to be exact, you can put the exact shipping charge here and then down here at the bottom it gives you your ebay fee and your paypal fee we're just going to take those two numbers and we're going to plug them in up here once you've done that you've put in your paypal fee your ebay fee and your shipping i mean obviously if you guys aren't using ebay uh you won't need this um you find the corresponding place that you're selling them to or if you're just selling them on uh, Facebook or uh, Twitter or Instagram or anything like that um, you won't obviously need that but I still I'm putting I'm listing all mine on eBay and usually if they don't sell on eBay then I'll get on a uh, another site and and sell them that way so all right next we're going to get our total here and the way we do that, all right, and the way that we do that is we click on 
the total, the cell right here, and you're going to hit equals. And once you hit equals, you can start uh, writing our formula. So we're going to do equals F2 plus, just click on the next one, and it's going to start writing this in over here. Okay. So we want it to be F2 plus G2 minus our eBay fee minus our PayPal fee and it's just as easy as that hit enter and that is what we're going to be profiting from this thing after shipping and fees are added up all right so once you get to that point you can go to the little box down here and once that turns into a plus you're just going to grab that you're going to drag it all the way down. Alright. And that just shows all zeros because that copied our formula to every single cell underneath it. Which makes it real nice. Now you can start going in and researching each one of your cards and plugging in your listing price right here. And your shipping price and your eBay fee, and your PayPal fee, and it's gonna come up with the price automatically there. So, um, we'll just do an example. I can't remember exactly how much here, we'll just check it out. So, Pokey Kid, uh, I listed for 25. 25, three, see it adds up to 28. Our eBay fee on that was two dollars and fifty six cents, and our PayPal fee was one dollar and eleven cents. Oops. Boom. So it adds it all up. Also, another trick thing you can do real quick is highlight everything that's going to be like a monetary value and come up here to format as currency click on that and it changes everything to currency all right i'm going to give you guys a second to plug in everything here and then we'll get to our total spent our added sales and our profit all right now, once you've got all those in there, see all of our prices over here. So let's put our totals over here. Then we're going to start plugging in this on this side. Um, so the total spent, I spent $176 total on the two boxes. So you're going to put that in as a negative. Okay, so we're, because we're out that, we're out that money right now. And the way we're going to get our added sales is where it starts getting a little bit more tricky. So I'll give you guys a second to put these guys in here. Okay, now it's time to get into some of the more advanced stuff. So we want to calculate our added sales here. We're going to do our sum ifs right here and we're going to link this to our checkboxes and our totals so go to added sales equals sum ifs parentheses you see our sum range right here we want our sum range to be our totals so you can just click at the top and drag all the way down. Highlight all those and you see it just automatically inserts all those over here. And we're going to hit comma 
in our criteria range is going to be our checkboxes. Highlight all those and put all those in over there. You hit comma again. And we only want this to show up over here if it's true. So we put true in parentheses. And hit enter. She says zeros. So every time we hit sold, it adds it up over here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Now, to make our profit, we're going to make this a little nicer. Turn this blue. And. Da, 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 da. Where's this? Turn our borders. Turn on borders. All right, now, to get our profit, we need to get our total spent. Since it's negative, we want total spent plus our added sales. So equals, just click on total spent, put plus added sales, enter. So now every time we click on this, it's going to show our added sales. And it's going to show how much we profit. All right. And that's pretty much it for this, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, you feel free to shoot me any messages, ask me any questions about anything. I'll help anybody walk through some stuff. And be sure to like, uh, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff.